Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you're doing well. I hope my Canadian friends and family had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I forgot to mention that for my video on Sunday. So I hope you all had a good time. I did. I ended up going to my dad's. I closed up the trailer and we're home. And what do you think this week's theme is? I don't know. I saw this and just had to buy it. A little veil. <laughs> it is Halloween week. Um, I have a few things and I'm not quite sure what actually today's video is going to be, but I was at my dad's and on my way to my dad's is that dollar store where I get all of those amazing little goodies. So I'm going to do a little bit of a haul from that dollar store and more. It's in Lindsay, Ontario, if you're ever in the area. And very cool stuff. So I'll start off with the basics. I always buy tape. Tape's a dollar. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Um, like I was saying, the only things that I purchase that aren't reusable anymore are these one ounce cups. They sell them in the hundred bags, and it was two fifty. So I got those. We'll get the boring stuff out of the way first. And then I have a hard time finding balloons that are not 12 inch because everywhere they sell, they're only 12 inch. So I purchased this bag. It has different sizes in it, so I don't know what's in it, but we'll try them out. And also my little spoons. I have officially ran out of them. I got them when I'm doing my glitters. I purchased them when I, uh, they came with my purchase of the, um, the little dessert cups that I was doing Fiona's, um, reverse dip flowers. So they actually have them in there. They were 40 in a box for, there's no price on it. So it would be a dollar and a quarter. So I bought two. So I'm restocked on those. And this is where I purchased all of my little squeeze bottles for my Dutch pours because I like them. They end up being a dollar a bottle. So there were two bucks. So um, my name is Sherry. I'm an addict. Um, I bought all of them that they had on the shelf because I can't find them. Sometimes they're there. Sometimes they're not. So I bought 10 of them. Or actually, no, 11. So I have 22 bottles. So that is another one and another one. And also from that store I purchased, that's where I was getting the different canvases. So they had the rounds again, which I thought I would do something with the rounds, maybe Christmas balls. I think that'd be cool. Um, the This one is a 13 inch. It was $5. And this one is the 10 inch and it was 350. Pretty cool. And these are all, all of these crafting things are craft factory, craft smart. What's this one? Craft melody. And I'm pretty sure they're all the same company. So that's cool. And I have a couple different things. You know, for all those party occasions, I had to buy, you know, these twisty poppers that confetti shooters because you never know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> I bought <laughs> the big one and then I bought a pack of little ones. So there we go. And let's get to the good stuff. They had these. I've seen a mold, a silicone mold, where you make tea light holders and they're encased and then the tea light sits on the bottom or on the top. I had these were $4 and I'm going to open one up because I never played with it yet because I got home. It was a busy day yesterday. I closed up the trailer and did all that fun stuff. It comes with the batteries, it says. Oh, look at that. Well, you can see. There we go for all those romantic dinners. So I figured I had there's 12 so I bought one I had two and I, ah, I put one back because I thought you know I bought 22 of those bottles 
And now here's some fun stuff. So me being in this obsession with the washi tape, they had washi tape. It's hilarious. My eyes are so bad. I picked this one up. Does that not look 50 cents? Does that not say 50 cents? So I picked up 10 of them. <laughs> and then I got to the counter and I started putting them up and I'm like, oh no, they're a dollar fifty. So I bought two silver and two gold and they're just glitter. And again, it is the, oh, it's hard to read this one. Oh, Unico washi tape. So anyways, so I bought two of each of those. They had, I'm going to open one of these because these look pretty cool. These are probably going to be in one of the videos. Um, it is confetti. They're huge to be confetti. Um, they're sugar, I'm pretty sure they're just sugar skulls. And I figured these would be cool. Oh my, of course, it is not just, I gotta open it because it's sealed. All right. So they have black, they have silver, and they have gold. Let me pull one of each out because I'm pretty sure they're all the same. So let me find something I can put them, put them on here. So we have the gold. That is pretty sweet. They'd be cute in some coasters. Look at that. Oh, that would be cute. I wonder if it's deep enough. That would be cute to put in the... Um, Oh my goodness, my uh, mold that has the the round tray or the round holder, those would be kind of cool down the mold. Anyways, I'll stop. Just things just pop in here and it's actually kind of scary. <laughs> so anyway, oh, I had another washi tape. This one is Forever in Time. It is um, art therapy washi tape. I don't know, it looks cool. Geometric shapes. Can you see, can you see? There you go. That's pretty cool. And that was a dollar twenty-five. Oh no, my apologies. It was two dollars. Why does that not want to do that? There you go, two dollars. That's that. So they got the confetti, big confetti. Then I had these stickers. They had butterfly stickers. And I thought they would be kind of cool in some a tray or some coasters and then they had the two versions so i bought you know of course two of each there these were a dollar and a quarter they are forever in time it's in with all of their um scrapbooking stuff so that's kind of cool and i bought these stickers because i thought these would be they're called clear stickers i thought these would be awesome in different glittered based oh where are my Glitter based, I was going to show you one on top, but I didn't have to open it. Glitter based um, coasters. That'd be kind of cool. It's all about being a queen and, you know, what to say. I am the queen. What part of princess don't you understand? Little princess. I thought that'd be kind of cute. And then they had a stencil. It looks like a mermaid. I thought that would be kind of neat to, to do a base ombre colored and then do something on top of it on a canvas now yeah, the... i spent a doll i spent an hour and 40 minutes in the dollar store that's pretty pathetic all right then they had these um of course i you know sherry about two of each they had these um scrapbooking paper is it's called glam glitter cardstock is that not Pretty. and I'm gonna open it because there's different um they were two dollars these are I think they're six by six inch so I thought these would actually be cool to put in like the the base of coasters so there's that one there's this one there's just plain gray like a slate gray then there's oh that one's kind of that would be like psychedelic. And then there's, oh, that one's kind of cool. And then plain silver. Awesome. So I bought, of course, Sherry, being Sherry, I bought two of them. They were $2 for a piece. And then they had ombre one. And I don't know if they're the 
same or if they were different, the same size, exact same packaging. And they might be all the same, but I just bought two of each because, oh, those are pretty. So they're ombre already and they're glitter. So I thought maybe we could do something with those. And there's that ombre. I'm pretty sure I bought the same. They're probably all the same. Sunset, that would be beautiful. Actually, that would be beautiful on the bottom of a coaster and then put something else on top. Awesome. Awesome, that'd be another sunset one. And then the, my hair colors, that's cool. So I bought, I'm 100% sure they are the same. So Sherry has four of them because <laughs> they, in the packaging, they look like they were different because the fronts, now that I'm looking at it, no, they, they look the same. Wow. But anyways, I have four of them. So that is that. Oh, and I bought one of these. It's a little dab, a dabber sponge thinking that I could use it on the, um, the mermaid tail, uh, stencil. And then I went to Dollarama, which I go all the time, but everywhere doesn't carry these things, which is what I did my cityscape stuff in. And every time I see them, I pick up four. Because you never know, you might run out and then you can't find them. I could probably supply a store down here. There's that much stuff. And then I bought this, thinking of Halloween week, because I was having people ask about Halloween week. And I thought, I bought this thinking I could use it to do some form of a glitterish painting. Oh, they're paper thin. Oh, and they're not even cut out. Well, that's disappointing. Look at it. I thought it was like an actual stencil. <laughs> they're paper. Well, that is not what I thought disappointing but anyway pumpkin carving kit see I thought it was an actual stencil but I guess it's paper it has to go around the con the, the pumpkin I guess so anyways so that is my dollar store stuff oh and I bought puppy pads I get my puppy pads at the dollar store every time I go I get a pack of puppy pads and a pack of even though it's a roll of tape because those two things I use constantly and then on the way, I don't know if you know the area at all. I know you're not all from here. So it is, there's a Christmas store on the way. It's a big red barn and they have an antique, um, kind of like a yard sale-y stuff all in the basement. So I went through there and then now that I've learned how to cut teacups, I was looking for different teacups. And is this not adorable? Let me just take off the tag so you can see it properly I promise this is my second last thing is that not the most adorable teacup so I thought I could you, the only thing is you got to figure out which way to put the handle there's a lovely little um, dragonfly or there's the butterfly and then there's the saucer oh my goodness and then I bought one more thing I got to show you I am different. I like to do things not normal. <laughs> Ask my husband. Um, I, again, my eyes are so bad. I bought this thinking they were clip-on earrings because it says shoe clips. I didn't realize it until I got home to open them up and look at it. But in my brain, I was thinking, because oh, I wear sweaters like this to work all the time, that look at this. I can open it up but you could do this with earrings you know a little bit of bling of course you could have a little bit of bling so with that my beautiful people that's my um dollar star haul not as many exciting things as I have in the past because there wasn't a whole lot there that I thought that I really needed but anyways I hope you like my little thing I thought that was cute dollar store as well so anyways we're gonna get right into it i am not sure what you're getting 
It's a surprise even to me. So I'm going to let you go. I'm going to organize all my stuff, come back, and we will be doing some form of a Halloween themed project. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello. This is a surprise. I went from my intro right to I didn't know what I was doing. I apologize. Today is Wednesday and <clears throat> my video is not going to be out till probably Thursday. And I will have three, but we're going to get them close together this week. So I was having a hard time coming up with something to do. I had so many ideas, but nothing was working out for me. So this is what I'm doing. I have these amazing coaster molds. These are the ones that I bought a pack of 10. And I thought we're going to do these little signs I bought from the dollar store. It says one says boo and the other one says eek. And I bought this huge bag of spiders like crazy, like spider confetti. And I also purchased these rings because, you know, a little bit of bling bling, my friends, has goes a long way, right? So what I did was I cut the little, I'll show you what I did. I cut them off with my little jewelry snippers. Done. Woo! Done. And we're going to place those in I'm moving a little quick because I mixed my resin up. Forgot that I didn't tell you what I was doing. And let me get that Oop, bedoozer. It's like 3D. Is it coming at you? <laughs> and I also purchased these at the dollar store, thinking that we could put them in, but they're really, the dimension in them is thick. So I'm going to do something in the other coasters. So with that, we may make a mold uh, of the holder. If I can see if we can do it clear and I'll put some spiders in it. So with that, I've mixed up eight ounces of resin. Resin of choice is crystal resin. Link is in the description box. And um, I have used my respirator when I was mixing. I have my gloves on. My Dyson Air Purifier is on. So please use your PPE when using resin. So my thoughts are, because I do not want these things to float, I'm going to take out the little... I'm going to embed the big things first with one layer of resin. I'm just going to shake my spiders down here. This one's for my best friend, Brenda. Woohoo! She loves spiders. Not. All right. And then I'm just going to pour a very thin layer, just enough to put the signs and all of the other spiders in. And then I will come back with a little bit of maybe my Mod Podge or something, just to adhere the spider so they don't float. Well, now what did I do with my tape? Right here. I'm just gonna try and get out the little bits of glitter that are off the signs. Good way to get stuff off, guys. Especially glitters, pigments. is just trusty old tape. There we go. All right, now it's all stuck to my glove. All right, now I'm gonna stick that there. All right, so I'm gonna take a one ounce cup, which I love to do, and that way you know your measurements. I'm gonna take one ounce. I don't wanna put a whole big heaping, and these coasters take a bit. And I don't want these things to float because I don't want them to not be covered with resin. 
That's the only thing with these bigger ones. Let's do this. And, and then, oh, where's my little guy? Someone was asking where I bought this little guy. I bought this little one at a dollar store. You know, one of those dollar stores that are usually more than a dollar. I just want to get the bubbles out. And I think that's good. I'm just going to pick them up to make sure it gets right to the edge. No big deal. Perfect. Perfect. You could take your little things and push it in, but to me, this is just as easy. There we go. Go figure, we got a little piece of glitter in there. I don't know how that would happen down here. There we go. And I want to do this in a double layer as well. I'm going to pour just enough that I can lay down some spiders in this one. I'm pretty sure this one took two ounces. And we'll let that do its thing and spread out while we put, sorry, I'm going to wipe my glove off, while we put um, these beauties inside the, um, the resin. Oh, cheaper Sherry. All right, let's get our words in here. We'll do one more little quick. I like this because you can adjust it to really, really small. The flame is nil. And we're going to put our boo in and our eek in. And I want to press them down. We will do, oh, I got to keep wiping these off because I don't want, well, it doesn't matter because they're going to get. All right, get our spiders, beautiful spiders. Just random, and then we'll fill it in with the little guys. Now I'm gonna take and push them down. These guys, I want to make sure these ones are a little thicker. Now the boo don't matter, really. Pushing it down. Perfect. All right, I'm going to keep pushing these down and we will come back when this layer is cured and this one. And we'll actually, maybe I can put the spiders. Actually, Yes, I don't know what I'm thinking. We're going to put the spiders now. 
I'm just gonna get this right to the edges. And then I'll do a thin coat. I don't know what I'm thinking. Because if they float now, it don't matter because it's going to be on the top. Oh my goodness, Sherry. And this will be good because I can, I'm going to torch this just to get out one more. And I'm going to pick up with this if it'll allow me to. Oh, look at that. Okay. I need to take one glove off so I can place spiders. And we'll do one more down here. Right there. And if they just sit on the top, I don't care. I think that's good. You don't want to do two. If I can get one there without it being... Oh, perfect. Okay. I think that's good. Maybe one more in the, let's move this guy over one way or the other. And there. And I will come in and just push these guys down. Oh my goodness, why didn't I? Perfect, okay. If you push them down, then there's more apt to not be air bubbles underneath. I'm hoping that that's the theory. Method behind some madness. Oh, we don't want those overlapping each other. There we go. No rhyme or reason, just put them wherever. Oh, there's, oh no, there's one. They're on the bottom. Good. One here. And I think that one is done. I'll have spiders forever. There's a lot in that bag. And maybe one over here. We'll see if it fits in. If not, we can take them out. Perfect. Move that one around a little. There. Now, let's see. I'm hoping they'll fit. Ah, <gasps> they do. Oh my goodness. This was just by chance. Do they fit in the middle? They do. Oh my. I'm just going to place them. This guy's got a little bent leg, so that'll work. And then I'll maneuver them around. Ah, 
They're stuck together. Oh, go figure. Oh, we'll put three in there. Actually, that one's got to come out. It will have a... Oh, unless I flip them. Yeah, there, that's better. Oh, we gotta have a bunch in there. do one more in each and no I think that's it spread this guy here oh my goodness they are looking spectacular all right I'm gonna give this another torch And then I will set these aside. And now we're going to mix up this other resin. And I will let this sit, set and I will be back, my friends, for a top coat. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hello, we are back. I have mixed up another eight ounces of resin. And um, I just want to show you what we did. Look at that. They look so cool. Very cool. And then I'm gonna put my second layer on of just clear. Amazing. And I love the stand. That's gonna be cool. So I've got my resin mix. There we go. I'm gonna use my little ounce cup. And we're just going to put clear resin in top of here. Do one ounce on each and see where we go from there. Oh, that's too funny. The spiders lose the, um, the 3D part or the, um, they look flat. That's too funny. All right. And we're going to fill our rest of our little, we don't want to fill it too full. Stand. There we go. If I can speak. go I think I may have to put more in this one more in this one I'll make sure these are covered. Yeah, 
And what I'm going to do, because there's those holes, I wasn't even thinking of them, for the um, strings, I'm going to try, where did I put those little spiders? I'm going to try to place a spider over each hole. And one in this one, right there. I'm going to get my tool and push them down. Make sure they're right where we want them. Right over the hole. Now I'm going to use my little torch. I'm just going to wipe my hands off because i got resin on my gloves. I'm like, I should have put glitter in there. I'm not sure. I'm going to flip these around. There we go. And just a quick little torch. we go. Perfect. All right, I'm going to give that a spritz with my 99% alcohol to get rid of the rest of them. And we're going to let them cure overnight. And I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Hello, we are back. We are all cured. Oh, that's funny. Look at these. I'm so excited. Oh, that's cool. I've never really done clear coasters. I've always put a color in them. Uh-huh. Very cool. Ugh, there we go. Very cool. Now, do you see what I mean by the how this looks and then how it looked when you put the resin on top? But it still look cool. Very cool. Oh, see, this hasn't been. I'm going to have to let that sit longer. It's only been. I got home from work at <laughs> 930, 10 o'clock, and I poured this and it's now seven in the morning. So what I'll do is I will let that cure for a little bit more and I'll come back and we'll unveil it. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm back. I think I can pull this out now. All right. Even if it bends just a little, I can lay it flat. But for video purposing, there's always a timeline, guys. Always a timeline. I'm having such a hard time this week. All right, here we go. Perfect. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. <laughs> that is funny. It is bendable, but I will lay it flat. Let's put these guys in and we'll see. Oh my goodness. Here, we'll put eek. And we will put the spiders 
And then we will do the boo. Oh my flipping, this is adorable. And again, I will link both of these in my description box. It is bending on me because it's still pliable, but is that not adorable? OMG. Well, there is day one of Halloween. So now I'm going to take that out right now, just so I do not goof it up. And I'm going to lay it flat like this. Make sure it's going to... And I like this because it's plastic and it will not stick. So with that, my beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed today's spooky Halloween um, video, day one. And yeah, if you liked it, please give it a share and hit that thumbs up and hit that bell for notifications. So next time that when I post a video, you will get notified. I'm just a factory. I just love this. <laughs> this is actually cute. Um, and in my description box, here's my long spiel. I have the links to my Facebook page, the links to my Amazon shops, and the links to Crystal Resin, which is the resin of choice, which I've used here today. I also have the links to Fundy Mold with a discount code. And I also have the links to my two amazing Lorez distributors. I have the wonderful, the amazing Michelle from Artworks Resonant Canada. Um, go check out her website. She's got some amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, my discount code with Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And of course, the wonderful, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, where I get all of my glitters. And the Larez, she's my American distributor. And her discount code is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And with that, my PayPal link is in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.